notifications from circles I've added. Whenever you up, have automatically uploaded photos, it'll add it to this as well. And you can clear this history, mark all as red, okay? Um, but basically, when you go to um, Google+, Plus, it's going to show this here, your, the name, share, as well as this. And you can manage your account. You can add an account, sign out, change the photo, um, but view pro pri privacy, okay? And this is the basic um, look here. So that's the photos, okay? Your shared album. So I have no shared albums, okay? Photos of you. There are no photos of you, all right? Um, we go to videos. So this tab um, shows the videos. You can upload new videos, etc. Reviews. No one's reviewed me yet. All right. So initially, when you come in, you have this little profile setting here. This is where you access everything. Um, profile, people, photos, what's hot. You know, this is basically what's what's trending and. This is what is um, what I'm following in technology, and you can share this with people, friends. You can see this has been shared quite a bit of few times. Um, wow. Um, communities, and you can create your own community. You can join a community, and these are basically forums um, where you can discuss things with people, etc., and get answers. Um, events. Um, these are events going on. You can look for events, find events, create event, events, um, plan a hangout if you want to have a, you know, some sort of online um, discussion. Uh, share photos in one place, um, etc. So you can plan a hangout. You can create an event. Let's create an event, and um, you can create the event title, event options. Um, you can hide guest list, you can do advanced, make this an event on air. Anyone can uh, view this event and you have the options of going live with a hangout location. And you can share it with certain circles, email addresses, and so on. You can even change the theme. So if you want to customize the theme to whatever it is, you can change the theme um, to any of these, birthday, food, dining, or you can upload your own. Maybe you've made a specific event. Uh, photo that you want to share, okay? So, if you want to find events, you can see find more events and any events that are coming on, um, you can actually join. Um, and there's live events, as you can see. Okay, so let's go back here and Hangouts on Air. So, you can start a Hangout on the Air. There aren't any Hangouts happening right now. Why not start your own? You can start your own Hangout, invite people, and they'll get the notification, and they'll come back, you know, they'll come in. And Pages. So you have your basic um, page, and how can people see your profile? Um, well, you have your profile here. This is your basic web address, okay? Um, so if you copy this, you send it to somebody, they will come to this site once they um, click on the link and it'll give them an option add to circles and I'll show you how if you do have another website if you want to add um, to follow me for Google Plus um, we can show you how to do that alright so if we go back to pages um, it'll show you know your pages and you can create a page Create a page for your business, band, cause, product. You can be found across Google search, maps, and more. Uh, engage with your fans, followers, customers. When you create a page for business, it's going to want to verify your business. Um, and it's going to actually send you a postcard in the mail. Um, and then it'll give you a special pin, which you have to go in and verify. And you can create your business, putting your hours of operation, business name. It'll put a link to the website. So let's go see what happens um, by learning more. All right. And it'll talk about Google Plus business. Make your business social across the web. Um, why is this important? Um, you want your you know, company to get found across Google. This is the place to do it. Um, tell customers what's going on. 
um, news updates, etc. So, how to get started? You can create a Google page and uh, get recommended. People can post reviews about you. Um, you could make your business at home on Google Plus, okay? And um, you'll notice a lot of companies have Google Plus profiles, which will allow them to show up um, recommended. And you could uh, integrate different things like AdSense. Um, you could monitor um, Google Analytics, how many people are visiting your site, where they're visiting from, etc. Um, and you can download the Getting Started Guide uh, right here. All right. And um, I'll just download it so I myself can review it later. All right. So it's the getting started, get found, uh, spread the word, and again you can use hashtags. Um, you can create ads, etc. You can recommend and share, um, and become reputable. All right. So why do this? And they explain here now when people search for your brand on Google, they can get the latest info straight from Google Plus page. Um, chances are if you have a company, you have somebody who's managing your uh, website and your social media, uh, they will um, go to your Google Plus page. The first thing people generally do is Google a business to get its reputation. And, you know, you want them to see uh, the best of the best and, you know, a good impression. So here's how to be eligible. First, create your Google Plus page. Then start publishing regular relevant posts to attract and engage followers. Be sure to add the Google badge. So this is important in order to get followers. So what's a Google badge? Um, and we'll go to that. So a Google badge is basically um, an advertisement. Um, and you can see here, uh, if I um, get the code for this, I can copy the code and paste it in to um, a website, okay? So I'm going to show you an example of how this works. Now you can select the Google Plus user. You can make it an icon, which is just a Google Plus, or you can make it the badge, which shows uh, this. And when you customize your cover photo, you know, you may put your company name, etc. Um, and your photo and um, change the width, uh, make it smaller, make it bigger depending on how you want it to fit on your website. Okay, you can do dark or light theme, all right, and tagline. You can disable that, you can enable that. There's also other advanced options. Now, how do I get this onto my web blog or website that I've created? Um, well, it's simple. You have this tag, this code which is created, all right, and I'm simply going to copy this code, all right, and I'm going to show you an example of a website that um, I have, and I'm going to uh, edit it, all right, and I'm going to show you basically what the code looks like. So you can see here. This is an example on Weebly, all right, and I'm going to select embed code, and I'm going to add it uh, to the bottom here, all right. And now I'm going to select this. I'm going to copy and paste this code, and now I'm just going to click outside of it, and what do you see come up? You see this Google Plus uh, profile and when somebody comes to my website they can click this and they can follow me okay and um, you know this is a powerful tool so when people come to my website now they can follow me and they'll be taken to my um, page um, which is the business page or here and now we can connect okay so very powerful tool 
All right, so I'm going to get rid of that. And I'm basically, that was just for uh, showing you. And this is the Google Plus um, badge. You can create a follow button as well, which will give them the option to follow. And you can put this into your website as well. Um, you can change the appearance, annotation, make it vertical. And again, this is going to be simple. You copy the code and you put it into the website and now they can follow you. Okay. And you have a lot of other um, advanced features here, which if you do have a, a business, you may want um, your web developer to enable all this for you. Uh, you have Hangouts, um, create an API, um, which becomes more complicated, and we're not going to go into that right now. Okay. So going back to where we were before, um, you want to create a page, okay? Get connected, all right? Like we said before, broadcast your brand, grow your audience, get insights, social reports, things that are influencing the market. You want to hear what your fans are saying. Uh, other resources, um, these are just resources to get to understand Google+, Plus. Uh, explain how to um, maximize um, Google+, Plus and download the guide. All right, tips and strategies, etc. So I'm going to create a Google Plus page. It's going to ask me local business or place. You have to understand that it's going to ask you for an address and uh, some other information, primary phone number, etc. Okay, so I'm going to hit cancel. Product or brand. Okay, company, institution, or organization. And again, it's going to ask you for a category. You add to a category. It's going to ask you. Um, address and you're gonna have to verify it. They're gonna send you a, a postcard in the mail within a couple of weeks and you're going to get a number and then you're gonna have to log into your account and you're gonna have to verify that and once you verify it then your product um, Google Plus page business can be put public and then there's other use if your page doesn't fit another category so we can select this you could choose a name so a different name for your Google page um, you know, we can call it Joe Fawn Web. All right. Now, if you have an external website, you can link it here. And what's that going to do? It's going to link your page. It's going to allow you to verify it and so on. Agree to terms and services. So your new Google Plus page can be used across like Google services. So it's easier for you to share and connect with your audiences. And this is, um, especially important with Blogger, okay, because you can set your Blogger site to interact um, with your um, Google Plus page if you want to have it, you know, a name, you're not having your personal name, as well as a YouTube um, account. So you don't want people to know your real name and you want to put YouTube videos up, it will make it more private, okay? So let's continue. And it's going to say get started. So tell a story. This is my new page. Okay, it's going to ask you for contact information. Yes, please keep me informed of future post releases. Profile saved. So now this is my Google Plus page as Joe Fun web page. Okay, how do I know that? Well, look at this. So when you click on the top right here, it'll show your main page and then it'll show your Google Plus page. You can you know, work with the page settings, etc. All right, and in here you'll have your posts um, telling me congrats on my new page. You can change your identity. Right now you're working on Google Plus as your page. Okay, you can share things, posts. Um, again, complete your profile and you can edit links, etc. So if we go to about, it allows you to. Um, Add circles, add circles, put a tagline. So if you have a business, a tagline, introduction, links. You can put links to your website, to your Facebook account, Twitter, contact information, how people can contact you. Okay. These are your posts. And again, this is going to be your now, now this page's address. So if you want people to add your, um, this page um, to follow, 
it's going to um, ask you. So let's let's go and type in um, Google Plus badge. Okay. And now it's going to ask me this: Google Plus user. Now you see Joe Fun Web. So this is the page I created, and now. I'm going to want to share this because this is my page. This is what I want people to follow. And I can copy this code and add it into as HTML um, onto the website of my choice, whether it's Weebly or Google Sites. And I can show you how that works. Um, another product is Google Sites. Okay. So let's copy this. All right. So let's go back here. All right. And they're just telling me I'm using Google Plus as this web page. And again, photos, um, shared albums, etc., videos. All right. So you can link this to your YouTube. All right. And it will ask you that. So if I go to YouTube.com, I'm going to sign in. And it's going to ask me to sign in. Now it's going to ask me, use account as what? Okay, so welcome to YouTube. Next. So if you do want to make money on the internet, especially Blogger and um, YouTube, this is where you do it. You can monetize your blog um, and you can monetize your YouTube. All right. And these are different categories um, you can choose. So you see here, I'm using it as my main account. I can click here. I can switch accounts. So what if I want to use it as Joe Fun Web? Well, let me do that. Use it as Joe Fun Web. Um, you can create a channel to use this account on YouTube. All right, so I'm going to create a channel for this, and I'm going to hit OK. Then tells you your Google, your channel and Google Plus page will be linked. All right, so John F Joe Fun Web will be linked to the channel Joe Fun Web, and vice versa. All right. Will display the same name and photo. Public YouTube videos will be appeared on here, and managers of the Google Plus page will be able to manage this channel. Okay, and um, so this is the YouTube, and they've actually changed a couple things. You can add channel art, um, which can show your links, and we'll show you that. So you can see which channel you're currently using up here by clicking up here. Um, you know, if you are uploading photos to this one and using this one, you want to use, continue using the same one. Then it's going to say share your thoughts. So these are things you can share your activity feed, okay, uh, based on videos you've uploaded. Channel art's a new thing. So you can upload, create um, different channel art, um, customizing it to your brand, to your product. Um, all right. And then you have your channel setup checklist, all right. And they basically um, have recommendations there. All right, so you'll see the home here, videos, and these are the videos you have. Discussion about, all right, the important thing, channel description. What's your channel about? It's about cool videos. All right, so let's just put that. All right, links. So you want to put um, social media. And these, thing, these links will appear overlying your channel art um, and you can you know add custom links and put the titles here to URL um, and so on subscription so the way you get people to follow you on YouTube and the way you get people to view your channels your channel is by subscribing by watching other videos by liking okay and by integrating your other social media websites so if you click up here on the main icon, you've these are the ones you favorited. You maybe you've added something to watch later. These are your likes. Um, you know my channel. Uh, this is basically your channel, and um, you can view as public how other people would see it. All right. Now let's go to Video Manager. So these are all the videos you've uploaded, which are none. Okay. You can organize your photos um, and playlists with tags. You can browse your tags. So in order to get people to watch your videos, to find them, you have to put tags into them. So what is the video about? Is it a wildlife video? 
Well, you want to put certain tags in that phrases that you think people are looking up on the internet, such as, um, you know, dog kisses cat, com, and you have to put commas, okay? Um, and you want to put a, as many as possible that are pertinent to your video in order to get found, okay? Um, so these are your uploads, and we haven't uploaded anything yet, all right? And these are your tags, and again, we have not had any tags yet. Favorites, maybe videos that you've made your favorites, and videos you've liked. Your channel settings, all right? So account status, you want to verify community guidelines, you're in good standings. What goes against community guidelines? Copyright uh, strikes, well, there's some basic guidelines. Um, in terms of monetization of um, of YouTube videos, um, which I'll show you here, um, under the facts, um, basically you can't have any music in the background. Um, you can't um, be singing a song that's owned by something else without express written consent. Um, nothing that's performed by somebody else, okay? Um, and they do treat you as a YouTube partner program, all right? So you need to be careful because they will cancel your account, all right? And this is where you'll come to monetization. So become a partner through monetization, displaying ads on your videos. Um, longer videos, upload videos longer than 15 minutes expand annotations, custom thumbnails, content ideas, live events, let you create a live streaming event. Your account isn't eligible at this time. All right, you can learn more. Um, you can have private videos, public. You make basically make the, the decision on that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you an example showing you. So they're going to ask me to verify my account. So let's hit verify. And it's going to say account verification step one, country. How should we deliver the verification code to you? Um, call me with an automated voicemail. Text me the verification code. Um, all right. And this allows you to unlock additional features on YouTube. All right. And uh, monetization, enabling, etc. So I want to upload a photo, okay? I'm going to go to Upload, and I'm going to select the file. And I'm just going to select any file, okay? This is just a video I took. It's going to ask me for a title, description, um, customize, all right? Tag, so again, and I'll give you um, different um, ideas, okay? And now... Uh, I'm going to select privacy settings. So I want a public, unlisted, private, advanced settings. Allow comments, all approved, uh, approved. Standard YouTube license, okay? Select one. This contest never add. Recording date, today. All right, and you want to make sure you hit save. Distribution options allow embedding. So this means that somebody can embed your video um, on their website notify subscribers of your upload and you, you'd probably want to do that um, and basic info and you notice it doesn't give me the option to monetize my video yet you can choose category um, science technology autos etc and you can save um, this will basically allow you to share it automatically to your different um, profiles facebook uh, it's going to ask you to log in with facebook okay um, and um, Twitter, okay? So there's also an, in, it's a smart application and they detected my video may be shaky. Yeah, so let's fix it. All right, so they understand that and they're gonna fix it. All right, you could also create um, different uh, playlists. You could add a new playlists and you can create a playlist called animals or whatever. So. Right now it says upload complete, and I'm going to click on this, and it is um, processing at this point, okay? So this is the video, and because I tagged horses, it's going to show other horse videos here. Um, some of the settings, 
I can hit share. I can share this video across all these different social media platforms. This is the link. I can copy and paste it. I can embed it. So when I copy this code, I can select the video size and I can copy this and embed it in a website. Okay, And I'm going to show you the basics of that um, when we look at um, Google Plus sites. So right now I'm going to copy this code okay, and I'm going to put it uh, into a notepad document. And I don't know, that's my video code. And I'm going to go back to the Google badge because I'm going to show you how to do that as well. And I'm going to paste um, this into here. Okay. So we uploaded our first video, and you can see that there. So let me go to Video Manager. Now I have one video. It's editing in progress. It shows here, it's public, published. And there'll be a dollar sign here that's green if it has been monetized. And you have to verify your account and all and that sort of thing in order to um, verify it. So right now I have too many accounts uh, verified through Google. So it's not going to let me uh, put my cell phone number in. But if you want to monetize your videos, this is the way you do it. And you can become a partner through monetization. This is how you make money on it, okay? We'll learn more. So criteria for YouTube partnership, uh, which is very strict. Um, okay, so you have to become eligible. The program had to be launched in your country. Account has to be in good standings. And you upload original quality content that is advertiser friendly. And you've reviewed the copyright education material, which is here. All right, you want to make sure that you review this and watch this, okay? They tell you about um, music and graphics, movie, TV, visuals. Do not upload this stuff, all right? And review this information before you even monetize it, okay? So, going back um, to here... Um, we're going to go to uh, Video Manager, and I'm going to go to Channel Settings, okay? And Custom Thumbnail, so you can edit the initial uh, image that shows up for the video. And that may attract more people, okay? Um, live events, etc. So you have to become eligible for these. All right, so let's go to um, Defaults. These are different defaults you have. So if you're going to upload a video from your mobile phone with YouTube, maybe you uh, want to set defaults because you're only uploading certain categories of videos, etc. So autos and videos, you want to set it as a standard YouTube. The title you can select later, but the tags you may want to put in here so you don't have to add them later. And defaults, you can allow comments. If you don't, you want to approve them first. Um, so you can set these as uh, defaults. And then you have advanced, okay? So advanced is basically your account information. You can change this, put your code. Channel keywords is important because people, in order to find your channel, other than by you sharing across social media platforms, um, you're going to want to put tags in here, okay? You can select um, advertisements. If you're going to monetize it, you need to allow advertisements. Channel recommendations allow my channel to appear in other channels' recommendations. And um, here is where it becomes important, your Google Analytics account ID. So Google Analytics, all right? So we'll select Google Analytics. And this is how you um, basically monitor um, how often and from who and from where and from what technology people are viewing your video. I have zero views on this video. Your channel does not have any views yet. If you recently published a video, please check back tomorrow. Um, but you'll set up your, once you do monetize your account, um, you'll go through all the criteria for that. And um, you'll set up the analytics account. Um, and we'll show you what um, Google Analytics is about um, viewing reports, okay? And uh, demographics, etc. But right now we have no views, okay? Um, um, 
check back because it's not been viewed yet all right and therefore you can't view the reports um, demographics uh, playback location traffic sources traffic sources is important because you want to know where most of your views are coming from you can target those areas all right with devices so the devices people are using because you want to create the videos so that they're accessible and best viewed on the devices where you're getting the most hits from okay and then you have engagement reports um, comments sharing annotations etc so that is Google Plus and now I'm going to go back to our um, Google profile okay in our pages and how do you get to the pages view profile all right and we're going to go up here and we go to pages and this is our page here welcome to Google pages this is an overview of the activity view Google pages all right switch easily between accounts okay we, we understand that so manage this page so this is where you'll manage your page and this is your dashboard um, notifications managers you can add managers to your Google Plus page and settings. Okay, make a better impression across Google. Um, people want to hear from you, blah, blah. All right, so let's hit done. And um, this is what you're sharing. Uh, you can start video calls, notifications. You could add managers, change ownership. All right, so let's go um, and show you it tells me to complete my Google Plus page, so add a profile picture. Um, okay, so we can add a profile picture. It's going to ask me to upload one. All right, so I'll set profile picture. Let's just select that and see what happens. All right, there we go. Save and continue. It's going to ask me to add a cover photo. You want to add a cover photo? Oh, or you don't let's skip that they want contact information well I'm not going to give them that you can choose to make it public with your circles only you all right your website so you want to add a website um, all right so you can link your website so what's our website well it's Joe fun web okay so we can copy that and we can add that here and as we stated, placing code on your website's homepage, etc., make it public. Save and continue. Introduction about your page. All right, we can skip that. 41% complete. Let's just hit done. All right, so now we've done some changes. We've added some things. Um, let's go to notifications. No notifications. Manager. So you want to add a manager. Well, since I'm the owner, I created it, but I want to add a manager. I don't want to manage my own. Um, Google Plus page. I want my web developer to, to do it. I can put the email address in here and they will be a manager of this page. Not only that, but they'll be a manager of your YouTube page as it is linked to this Google Plus page. Connected services um, for your site. So this is a one time setup and this is where you'll be able to, um, you know, create website plugins, etc. Um, let's see what happens here. So add this tag to the head section of your web page. All right, let's see what happens. And now let's go to settings. All right, so who can interact with you and your posts? You can select anyone, you can select different circles. Who can comment, uh, customize who can hang out with you, notification delivery, manage subscriptions, and you have all these different notification tools okay manage apps and activities change accessibility okay so remember um, this is your profile show these profile tabs alright enable hashtags so what I want to do is I want to go out of the dashboard I want to look at my pages and um, I want to view this page and this is how it view it looks right now okay and remember we set up a YouTube account here's our YouTube video alright it's public it automatically was shared these are the photos we have no photos other than the profile photo we set up 
and here's that YouTube video. So these will be displayed on here in your reviews. Now, the last product I'm going to talk about is Google Blogger. All right, and Google Blogger is a um, blog site web page uh, where you can um, basically create a blog, get people to follow you, you can monetize it, and um, your Google profile, it shows you about that, okay? So they want us to confirm our profile. Um, we're going to view our profile, and that's our profile here, okay? Um, email notifications, continue to blogger, all right? So this is your blog, create a blog, all right? Reading list, etc. And expanding your audience with um, these are just some notifications. So we're going to do a new blog. You can create a title, my blog. The address is you can do Joe Fawn Web, and it'll tell you that it's available. And you can choose your different, um, you know, templates. You can customize the templates. Let's just go with a general one here. Create blog. All right, and now we've created a blog. Um, you can start blogging. You can click here for more options, overview, posts, pages, comments, stats, earnings. And remember, earnings is where you're going to integrate the Google AdSense and also ads on there. Let's go to Google Plus. And um, so we want to use the blog to be associated with this, okay? So, and you want to use Google Plus blog. So, whenever you create a posting, it's basically going to um, update to your um, Google Plus page. All right, and these are your stats. We have no stats, no views today, other than us, traffic sources, earnings, and this shows you how to set up Blogger with Google AdSense. And blog away, earn money. You can change your, um, you know, the layout. You can add gadgets, um, plus one button. Um, Google Badge, followed by email, AdSense, and these are all the things you're going to want to add. Images, etc. You can change the template, and there's more um, dynamic templates you could use now, okay? But let's just go with this. Let's go to a new um, title, and we'll say My First Post, okay? And let's start by um, adding that video. So we'll take this, we'll copy it. All right, we'll go back to the blogger. And remember, you want to keep this on HTML when you do that. Copy and paste. You have to give a label to it. Horses, animals. So this is what's going to um, basically tag it. And when people find it, search for it, they'll find this. Let's take a little preview of it. So I'll see what it's going to look like. This is what it's going to look like. This is my first post All right, about me, and they can follow. All right, so let's go back and let's go to publish. So you're now going to be able to share it on Google Plus, and you can share it publicly. Uh, so let's hit share, and you'll see people viewed it um, and basically um, the statistics. Now let's go back um, to our page. All right, and you'll notice it shows our website here. All right, and um, it'll show the post we just created my first post alright and you can share that with people anywhere um, and this is the blog you can change the design um, etc so this is a first introduction um, to Google Plus and um, how to use it as well as blogger and YouTube um, remember other powerful tools include uh, drive um, which you know, you can create documents and sync documents between your computer and the internet. You can share with anyone, create folders, presentations, spreadsheets, um, etc. And this is a very powerful tool. So I thank you for watching. Um, any questions, please post the comments. This was a quick run through Google Plus, um, Ad, Google AdSense, Google Blogger, as well as YouTube.